confidential transfers or confidential token transfers are coming to Solana mainnet. This token extension lets you do transfers without revealing your transfer amount or balance, thus maintaining the privacy of your transaction. So in this video, let's learn everything about confidential transfers token extension. So without any ado, let's jump into it. Solana's Token 2022 program introduces several powerful extensions which enhances the capabilities of tokens beyond the standard SPL token program. And one of them is Confidential Transfers, which enables privacy preserving transactions on the Solana network. And now this extension is live on mainnet. The Confidential Transfers extension allows users to transfer tokens without revealing the transfer amount or balances. And this becomes possible by using several cryptographic techniques like homomorphic cryptography as well as ZK proofs, which are zero knowledge proofs. So first, let's understand how the flow looks like. And then we will see what are the new data structures or data types introduced into mint programs as well as token accounts programs with this new extension. So generally for a user, confidential token accounts will store two different states for a user's wallet address. One will be the pending balance state and other will be the available balance state. So first of all, what will happen is a user from its public balance will have to deposit some amount or tokens into the pending balance state. And this deposit will be encrypted using account specific keys, not the owner keys, which will be the private key or secret key of this user that won't be used to encrypt the balance but a new account specific key will be generated and that will be used to encrypt the balance then what a user must do is apply the balance to available balance state and to do that the account owner must apply the pending balance to their account and then what happens from here is the amount can be withdrawn into the public balance state where it will be decrypted and visible to everyone or it can be transferred to another user's pending balance state which will be encrypted and won't be visible to anyone. So if the amount is withdrawn it will be decrypted and shown as a public balance which will be visible to everyone and if transferred to another user's pending balance state of their confidential token accounts, ZK proofs or zero knowledge proofs will be used to verify the encrypted amount where that proof will be used to check if the balance being transferred, the sender has that balance or not. Again, all of this is checked while the amounts being encrypted. Now, the last thing is while creating the mints, they can be configured with an auditor account that can decrypt the balances and transfer amounts of these tokens. And this is of course an optional configuration which you can set while creating the mint. Confidential transfers also introduces new data structures for both mint and token accounts. So for mint accounts, it introduces the following where the first one is the authority for managing confidential transfers. The second one is an approval setting for new accounts where it can be set to auto approve or require authority where if it's set to auto approve, creating new confidential token account balances won't require authority's approval but in the other case it will require authority's approval and the third one is an optional auditor public key that can decrypt the transaction amounts and balances this public key should be an l gamel public key which is an asymmetric public key which allows the auditor to decrypt the transaction amounts without compromising the overall privacy of the transactions and this is how the confidential token account looks like which is a little bit more complex than your standard token account the key differences are it uses l gamel public key for encryption which is separate from owner's public key contains encrypted balances rather than having plain text amounts, splits balances into pending and available balances portions, includes credit counters to track and limit pending operations, using ZK proofs to ensure that we can rightfully and clearly associate the pre and post balances of the incoming transfer. And finally, this token account can be configured to accept or reject different types of transfers. The two distinctive features are pending balance and available balance where the newly received tokens are stored in the pending balance state and 
tokens which can be transferred or withdrawn are stored in the available balance state. If you want to learn a little bit more about confidential transfers and what happens under the hood, check out the guide linked in the description below. Hope you learned something from this video. Thank you.